Hi there, my name is Roland. I live just outside of Montreal in Quebec, Canada. And uh, this is uh, Tinkerbell. If you have a Van Den, you know just how much tinkering we do so, and how much we love them. So Tinkerbell seems to be an appropriate name. I've had this uh, for about uh, four years now. I've done a lot of work on it, a lot of enhancements that uh, either I created or that I found on some of the websites. And so I'd like you to take you on a tour and uh, show you some of that so perhaps you can, it can be useful for you. And of course, I really appreciate all of the websites, Facebook pages that we have that uh, help us out with our uh, repairs. And so this is my video. A little present from my brother-in-law, a little bus, really cute key holder. First thing I did was to install molding to protect the doors uh, when opening them in parking lots uh, to prevent damage either to the van or to the cars that were beside me. The next thing I did was to fix the glove box because it was always when I was opening it, it would open up all the way and, and fall out. So I replaced the, the strings that hold it in place with just ordinary string and I also put in a cotter pin. Uh, right on one of the hinges so that it wouldn't pull out and fall away and I had to add a couple of shims so that it would line up correctly uh, so that it would close properly. So if you're like me you probably have started off and forgot to put the top down. Well this happened to us one day when we were camped and then stopped at a fruit stand on the same lot and ran into some trees. Oh my god it took us three hours to if it fix it up and uh, this black band is the, the result of that and so I said never again and so I devised and put in a, a door switch over here so that when the top is up the light goes on in the dash and these are the lights one over there up in the corner and one on the dash and you can see they go out when the top is down very handy, even on the last trip. Seems I never quite learned to do a check and this saved us a lot. After leaving home to get some parts one day and uh, discovering that I had left the rear hatch open, I added another switch over here, which is hooked up to the same light as the pop top. And so that tells me when the ha rear hatch is open. Useful. To have. Also, if you're like me, you've probably taken off and left the emergency brake on. And because in uh, this 1985 model, the steering wheel is quite big and actually hides the brake light warning light. So I added another LED just above it, up in a corner so that I can see it. So that when the emergency brake is on, and when it's off, it goes off. Found that very useful avoided heating over overheating my brakes and wearing them out and some new speakers for my new radio which I will show you also and uh, in order to prevent the door handle from knocking on the speaker I got these from uh, go Westy. they're great because they're very solid and they work like a charm and they don't hit the speaker when you roll the window up and down this is the new Pioneer radio that I installed to replace my old cassette, which eventually gave out. It has a lot of nice features, including this app, which, as you can see it, um, acts like a dashboard. It gives you your exact speed as a clock, and also has a nice uh, altitude uh, so that you can see how high you are up in the mountains when you're going over passes. It has a microphone that hooks up to um, the the other radio so you can talk through it and another nice feature is that if you press this button here it hooks up to your uh, map uh, on your phone so that's another uh, good safety feature so the radio is connected to uh, the solar system as well all of the auxiliaries and I put in an extra switch here because uh, if you don't put the switch on these lights stay on at night you turn that off and all the lights uh, go off so you can sleep better. 
And then I made this under, unobtrusive um, holder for my iPad uh, for, you know, playing music and uh, using the GPS. I made it out of an old uh, uh, cover that I had for my MacBook Pro. And it fits really nicely and doesn't obstruct the view. And I really love this uh, phone holder, which is, has a suction cup that doesn't let go and is movable in uh, three or four directions. It's an IO, IOT. I don't know if you can see the name there, but I-O-T-T-I-E. One more thing, I have this digital clock here, which was uh, not staying on time. It was always changing the hour. I took it out apart uh, several times, and finally, I think what the problem was, that there's two little holes here to adjust. And what happens if you depress it too far, that little rubber gets stuck. And so you go in there with a pin, and a flashlight and you just pull it back so that it's um, it, it comes back out and I put in a little silicone grease to uh, make sure that didn't happen again fix the problem vent windows when I got this these were all floppy and they wouldn't stay open in the wind and uh, so I had to um, there's a little clamp inside the window that clamps the pin which uh, tightens the window uh, you access it through the door panel However, that screw is a Phillips screw and it is in, almost impossible to tighten up. And so I replaced it with a hexagon head uh, screw, which makes it easy to tighten up with, uh, with a wrench. So you don't need to buy those uh, uh, gadgets that hold the window open. It stays open in the wind and you can tighten it as much as you need to. On these visor um, holders, and in order to uh, make them less obtrusive and to stay on well, I just used Velcro instead of the straps that are normally uh, coming over here. So it makes for a cleaner uh, installation and it's unobtrusive. I used a, um, a repair kit for vinyl to uh, fix up these uh, tears and scratches in the vinyl and you can match the color. It doesn't do a perfect job, but it uh, helps to prevent any further deterioration. Some important ones to do on the door here, and they actually worked out quite well uh, in terms of vinyl repair. Lights. I found these uh, on Amazon, these uh, lights to replace the high amperage original light. It came in pair, so I, I installed two of them, one over the, uh, uh, the pantry and the table, and the other one over the uh, two stove, two, uh, two burner stove. They're really great because they uh, are dimmable and have three light colors and they have a memory. So when you, you shut it off and turn it back on, it comes back to the same setting. I powered these all on the same uh, connection of the original um, light. Well, the reading light, uh, two of them, one in the back here, and these are the same. They are uh, movable in many directions, and they have three different colors, and they're also dimmable. Also come in pairs, and so I installed an another one in the front here, because I like to read sitting in the seat when the seat is facing uh, this way. Installed a ceiling light so that we could uh, find things when we store them up in the upper compartment. The ceiling light is an LED strip and I put the switch over here nice and bright, maybe too bright, but anyway, it does the job and added another light in the closet so that you can find things that you store with an LED to make let you know that it's on if the door is closed. Voila. And then I uh, made a little console here for the for the center which is really nice because it's non-obtrusive and you can put in your uh, water bottles I uh, had to put a, a shim under it to make it level 
I made it out of um, extra uh, floating floor that I had and uh, we really like it. I put in these little partitions here to movable partitions to uh, adjust for the size of, uh, of the um, uh, coffee holders and, and, and water bottles. Put in a whole new set of carpets from SoFine that comes in uh, several pieces, uh, easy to install, and uh, you need a good uh, contact adhesive to put it in, but I'm really happy with the job. Very nicely done. Really love the end product, the end result. And then I got these uh, set of rubber mats also, which are just great because they uh, are easy to clean, they stay in place. There's a three piece, one for each side and the center, center console as well. This is the eight passenger, the passenger side. This is uh, to hang up clothes. My girlfriend likes to uh, hang clothes to let them dry. And uh, so I added a couple of one on each side a uh, strong hook drilled into the, the roof there. Uh, doesn't make a hole in the roof. And tied to the uh, roof support. And so makes for two hangers on each side when you want to hang up wet clothes and you're coming out of the rain. And we don't use the upper uh, bunk. So I removed the mattresses, which gave us an extra four inches of storage space. I used the bracket to put in a a board so that uh, stuff wouldn't fly out if we had to break during a travel and we use it to store all kinds of things I got these small boxes say from the grocery stores or from the recycling bin and we put all kinds of things in there they're useful especially on a long trip when you've got a lot to a lot of stuff to, to take with you so that is, uh, is really incredibly uh, useful because you all know in the van that uh, there's not much storage space this uh, smaller table I moved over to the side to allow us to open the closet door when the table is still in place. I simply moved over the support underneath and uh, made sure to leave enough space here so that when you actually open the table and you swing it around, swing it around, it clears that and opens without any problems. And the nice thing about this modification is that the table now uh, comes out centered on the rear bench. So that is very useful. And this table extension modification on Van Cafe, really great because it allows you to uh, raise the table up so that you could actually open the pantry doors um, and the table can swing over the um, propane stove as well. It was very versatile. And to do that, you need to add an extension on the leg all the way down, an inside pipe that fits right into the existing pipe. Uh, very useful, easy video to follow on the Van Cafe. I made an indent, drilled an indent here into the, the pipe so that when the table is down, you can tighten it and it prevents the table from moving back and forth. I put legs under the long table uh, so that we could use it, take it outside. And uh, this turned out to be really handy as well. I just found some uh, pieces in the recycling bin and say, hey, I can do something with this. So let me uh, show you uh, how, it, uh, how it comes out when it's outside. Portable, so uh, we use it outside or sometimes we use it inside because it uh, can be moved around according to our needs. Well, very simple, but uh, really, really useful. I had put in an electronic ignition for uh, before I changed my three-way fridge to this 12-volt fridge, which I will also talk about. And I'd seen a very creative person who had put um, uh, the electronic ignition on the on the burners. And so this is really neat because you put on your propane, and poof, you've got light just by pressing the electronic ignition. So one proviso though, if you happen to have the top closed, happened to me once, I left the valve open, I was trying to light my fridge and poof, uh, just about popped the whole top open. So you gotta be really careful 
and with kids you might want to actually take out the battery so that it doesn't work so that that doesn't happen but uh, just so you know uh, this was a, uh, a four-way um, electronic ignition so I had you know one for the ground one for each of the burners and one for the fridge use the extra space here to make a little support for uh, paper towels it just comes off here you reload it and just put it back on take off the clip pull out the paper towels very uh, very handy I just use an old uh, uh, hanger to uh, cut the hanger you just uh, put a support at one end put a support at the other end very very useful installed a new floor using floating floor uh, does a very nice job inexpensive the only thing I had to do was to um, uh, use a wood chisel to uh, put grooves in where these uh, bolts are sticking out but otherwise it's fun it's removable if you have a fridge you can arrange so you just pull out this last board here and you take out your Dometic fridge without having to take out the whole floor so that worked out really well as well installed the bug screen uh, I think it had already velcro when uh, when I got it but I added some snaps to really hold it in place uh, and to take it out easily so the snaps and the velcro make for a very good seal including on the bottom here so and then I put some velcro to keep it closed here but that didn't work quite well still got some modif modification to do this I believe Go Westy now sells a kit to do this, uh, put the snaps in. Make sure you use heavy duty snaps because the light duty ones, they kind of tear out. We did the same thing in the back for the uh, mosquito screen. We put in uh, Velcro in addition to the snaps so that you get a really good seal and that there's no bugs coming in at night. Uh, all around, on the sides, underneath. I arranged it so that I could so it actually close the door, close the uh, rear hatch, even when the screen is up. So that is, uh, gives us the confidence that no mosquitoes come in when we're sleeping with it open or just for airing things out. The new 12 volt Novacool 1.9 cubic foot fridge that I installed to replace the three-way fridge. And uh, it has uh, some really nice features in the door panel, I was able to paint. Uh, Home Depot made me a match for the cabinets. And so I went from black to the color that blends well. The fridge has a freezer and has a lot of space. You can even put a wine bottle standing up. And so it's performed really well in very hot weather. Uh, 37, 38 degrees Celsius or uh, close to 100 Fahrenheit. So really loved it on our trip all the way to the Yukon and back. We used uh, this Mr. Heater, portable heater, propane, to uh, heat up the van before we went to bed or when we got up in the morning. Uh, very useful. You have to remember to keep a window open while you're using it in order not to deplete the oxygen in the van. We use this uh, porta potty from Thedford, model 135. Very useful when you're stuck or when you have to get up in the middle of the night. Another handy little uh, hold is uh, this stretch tie to hold. Actually, it is holding a bottle, but uh, we store our wine, open wine bottles here so they, they don't fall over and move around when we're traveling. Okay, let's talk solar panels. I've got two Renergy 100 watt solar panels up on the roof attached with uh, two inch strips of velcro uh, stays on very well and i've hooked them up in series because it gives you a bigger differential between the voltage um, and the battery voltage which gives you a little more charging time put all of my solar controllers and inverter uh, over here behind the cabinet behind the driver's seat i've got a 100 slash 20 mppt uh, Bluetooth um, solar controller. I've got a DC to DC charger for my uh, volume, um, lith lithium phosphate battery and a couple of uh, breakers uh, that we need to hook that up. And I've got a 380 watt inverter which is 
enough for charging uh, computers, uh, also for charging uh, portable uh, electrical drill, battery, cordless batteries, toothbrushes. Um, obviously not enough for a hair dryer, but again, very useful. And under the uh, under the driver's seat, I've got a connection box for different fuses for uh, lights, uh, fans, uh, etc. I installed the auxiliary battery in this little cubby hole here that is used to store the electrical cable. It fits in very nicely. Um, I had to raise uh, that shelf just a little to make room for it, but uh, the battery is uh, very solid there. And I still have the electrical connection, I just took out the excess cable. And uh, outside I can just hook up another extension cord to hook it in, which uh, I uh, seldom use anyways. So I shortened or took out the uh, electrical cable inside and left just long enough so that I can hook up an extension cord to it. And while I'm at it, I'll show you these little doors that I uh, made because the other ones were missing. Just a couple of hinges, a black piece of plastic, and a little hook. I made a door for all three inlets. This inlet, which is the inlet for the water, city water which I never use is um, now an outlet for the extra fan to vent the fridge when it's really hot and you know uh, how high the step is from the floor down to the um, uh, uh, the ground uh, I've tried some um, portable benches and they always sink down into the mud so I was able to find this uh, on uh, Marketplace. This great little step made for Vanigans, which is, uh, creates a really wonderful uh, step up and down. And as you can see, it folds away when you're not using it. Tucks right out of the way. Very handy and we found it very useful. Installed the 16 inch wheels with the uh, Cuomo Solus HA32 tires. Uh, this made a huge difference in handling on the road in the wind and when meeting uh, the semis, no sway, uh, very uh, stable on the road. Uh, because I have a 1.9, I chose a 215.55 so that it's not too high and don't lose torque on the hills. you've enjoyed this tour and that uh, will help you in your creativity and if you have any questions well uh, I'd be happy to try and answer them best I can. Uh, I'd like to show you this t-shirt that was uh, given to me by my son. Little logo here. Um, old guy's music. Have fun. Safe travels.